Hello everyone, I'm Adan Mubarak to all my lovely friends out there. Wherever you are in the world, I wish you all a happy and blessed year ahead. In today's video, I will be preparing some snacks which you can store it for a longer time. It will reduce your time and effort in the kitchen during Ramadan. Hope you all like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's begin with the recipe. Here I prepare mutton samosa. Can anyone say no to samosas, especially in Ramadan? It is must there in our menu, isn't it? Hope you all agree with me. If yes, hit like. So let's start the recipe. In a pan, add 4 tablespoons of oil. Here I am using half a kg of mutton keema. Mix together. Mix well as you get lumps in the beginning. If you keep mixing, it will break and into a small pieces. And you knead it that way. Once the mutton starts changing its color, add some salt and pepper and mix. Mutton start leaving water. Cook till the water get dissolved. Meanwhile, let's chop some onion. Here I had used 4 large onion, finely chopped. Finely chop them. Now add 2 teaspoon of ginger paste and 2 teaspoon of garlic paste. Mix together. Mix together till the raw smell gone. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, 1 tablespoon of red chilli powder, 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, mix together and add 1 teaspoon of garam masala. Add chopped onion. Here I take some mint leaves, green chilies and some coriander leaves. Wash and chop. Add it into a mutton and mix together. Cover the lid and leave them for 10 minutes in low flame. Here is the perfect mutton keema masala is ready. I am using here half keema masala for samosas. Once it cooled down, let's start preparing samosas. Here I use ready made samosa sheets. I have posted a video preparing samosa sheet. Check the link below in the description or above in the i-card. Prepare the samosas as shown in the video. Prepare all the samosas same way. To freeze them, you can use any container or ziplock bags. Remove the air and close. Once freeze, once freeze, take out at least half an hour before fry so that it comes to a room temperature. Fry them in a medium low flame. Fry till it gets golden brown in color. The perfect samosas are ready. Hope you enjoy this recipe. 
Next preparing mutton pinwheel. Here I am using the remaining half keema masala that I kept aside. In that I had added two boiled potatoes. With little varieties in the same recipe you can prepare delicious items. This same mixture you can use in preparing keema paratha also. For the dough, take 2 cup of all-purpose flour, add half a teaspoon of ajwain and half a teaspoon of black cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of salt, mix together and add warm water. Knead the dough. Add 2 tablespoons of oil and knead it again for 5 minutes. Cover and keep it aside for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take it out and knead it again for 5 minutes. Take small ball portion and roll it into a thin roti. Now put some keema potato masala. Spread evenly and start rolling as shown in the video. Cut them as shown in the video, do not press it. Now, now in a bowl add some flour and water mix together make a slurry. I in that add some chaat masala to give some nice flavor. Now dip the pinwheel in it and keep it in the container. And freeze them for 15 days. When you are going to fry, take at least half an hour before so that it comes to a room temperature. Fry them in a medium flame and serve it hot. If you try this recipe, let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe. Now the next recipe is chicken spring roll that I have prepared in both liquid dough rolls and in spring roll sheets. Let's prepare the chicken mixture. For that, here I take some vegetables like cabbage, capsicum, onions, carrot, green chilli and cut them into your julienes. Add 2 tablespoon of oil, 1 tablespoon of garlic paste or chopped garlic, saute well, add green chilli, carrot, onion and mix them together. Add cabbage, mix them, cover the lid and cook it for 10 minutes in low flame. Now after 10 minutes add capsicum, salt, pepper, soya sauce
and boiled and shredded chicken. Mix together and keep it aside to cool down. Make a creep. For that, take one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of milk, one egg, one cup of water, two tablespoon of oil, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of sugar. Blend it and make a liquid dough. In a pan, add some oil. and pour the dough spread it all around as shown turn and cook it for 2 minutes in low flame like this you can prepare all the crepes now in a bowl add some flour and water make a slurry And you need breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs, which I prepared in the last video, check out the recipe in the description box. Now take a creep, add some mixture, and roll. A roll as shown. Make all spring rolls like this. Now dip it in a slurry. Put it in a bread crumbs. You can store this in a refrigerator for a week. Fry them till it's golden brown in color. This simplest way to make a spring roll sheets. Here I make spring rolls with spring roll sheets with same chicken mixture. I am using ready made spring roll sheets but you can prepare them at home. I had already prepared the recipe of spring roll sheets. If you want you can check it out in the description box or in the avoid card. Now fill the mixture and roll out. The perfect spring rolls are ready. You can make and store them for a month. Fry them in a medium low flame till it gets golden brown in color. And enjoy the recipe. Hope you all enjoy these recipes. Stay with me for more recipe video. Inshallah, I will be posting soon. If you like it, hit like button and subscribe to my channel. Hope you all have a great day ahead. Take care. Bye. Allah Hafiz.